All right, so the time is officially here. Uh, we are checking out the One More Evo True Wireless earbuds. And these are the latest flagship earbuds from One More. And they're bringing a ton of value for the price. Uh, they're coming in at 169 bucks. But from now until June 8th, uh, you can actually take advantage of their early bird pricing, uh, which is gonna save you an additional $30. Uh, so you can pick these up for only 140 which is an excellent price if you ask me. Uh, so after you watch this video, make sure you check out the link down in the description so that you can take advantage of that deal. So we're going to get into the video, but let me just tell you this right off the bat. These are competing uh, with pretty much anything out there. The Bose, the Sony, uh, probably the Sennheisers, even though I don't have those yet. I'm supposed to be getting those in a few days. Um, so I'll make sure to do some comparisons, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they're competing with those as well. So enough of that. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it, starting off with the case. So one thing I love about the case is the finish and just the feel of it. Um, it almost has like a brushed metal type of feel. I'm not sure if it is or not. It might just be plastic, but um, it definitely feels premium in the hands. Uh, obviously, you have your one more branding on the top. Uh, you also have a single LED indicator in the middle. Uh, on the back is where you have your type C charging port and the case does support wireless charging, which is always nice to have. On the inside, you do have a pairing button there in the middle and overall the build quality of the case is definitely solid. Moving over to the earbuds, you do have black as well as white as color options. Obviously we have the black version here. Um, so you have the one more branding there in the center on the touch surface and then it's surrounded by kind of a rose gold accent uh, which definitely gives it a premium look in my opinion as far as the touch controls uh, typical one more fashion you have a double tap a triple tap as well as a long press uh, the long press is dedicated to control the active noise cancellation as well as the transparency mode and then the double tap and triple tap can be customized within the one more app and then you also do have in-ear detection with these. So these are running Bluetooth 5.2. As far as audio codecs, you have SBC, AAC, as well as LDAC. So if you have a compatible device, you can tap into that high resolution codec. These also support independent use. So you can use either the left or the right earbud while the other remains inside of the case. As far as battery life, with active noise cancellation turned off, you're looking at roughly eight hours on a single charge with a total of 28 hours, including the case with active noise cancellation turned on. You're looking closer to five and a half hours on a single charge with a total of 20 hours, including the case. And then these also have an IPX4 water resistant rating. So they're safe for sweat and light splashes of water, but definitely not a pair that you want to completely submerge. So when it comes to the fit, these actually surprise me. Uh, because usually when it comes to flagship earbuds, they're very large because they're trying to pack a lot of technology in there. Uh, but these are actually pretty reasonable in terms of size. So I'm able to get a pretty decent fit. Uh, so for me, casual use is perfectly fine. Uh, if you have medium to larger size ears, I definitely think you can get away with using these for more intense movements like hitting the gym. As far as comfort, these are also very comfortable. Um, if you didn't notice, these are using those oval shaped ear tips, uh, which helps tremendously in terms of the comfort. So wearing these for extended periods of time should be no problem. So before we jump into the sound quality, let's talk a little bit about the active noise cancellation as well as the transparency mode. So when it comes to noise cancellation, you do have a few different modes. Um, so you have strong, you have mild, uh, you have wind noise reduction, and you have adaptive. So strong and mild, those are pretty self-explanatory. The wind noise reduction, that's gonna be helpful for the times that you're outdoors and it's very windy and you get that annoying sound of the wind blowing past the microphones of the earbuds. You can activate that setting and it's almost going to eliminate that sound completely. So it's definitely helpful. And then as far as the adaptive, uh, that's basically where the earbuds will detect how much noise is taking place around you and then adjust the active noise cancellation accordingly. So overall, the active noise cancellation is definitely giving you some flagship performance. 
Now, the question that everybody wants to know, is it enough to dethrone Bose or Sony? And I would say not quite, uh, but don't get me wrong. We're talking like one, one a type performance. So it's extremely close to the Bose and the Sony, which is saying quite a bit. So if you were to purchase these and test out the active noise cancellation, there's not enough difference there that you would regret purchasing these compared to something like the Bose or the Sony. And then once you factor in the price difference, you're definitely going to be satisfied with your purchase. And it's pretty much the exact same thing with the ambient mode, flagship level performance. Um, you do have two different modes for that as well. Uh, so you have the pass through mode as well as the voice enhancement mode. And comparing these again to like the Bose and the Sony, there's not really much difference there that you can really detect. So now let's go ahead and talk about the sound quality, which is where things start to get interesting. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for my full on comparison videos, uh, because I will go a little bit deeper as far as how these stack up against the competition. But I will say that the dual driver setup sounds incredible. Um, you're getting some very nice separation between the bass and the treble. You're getting a very powerful sound and overall some very good extension and just overall range. They also take the EQ adjustments very well. So within the One More app, you do have access to the sound ID feature, uh, which is basically like a hearing test that you can go through. And based on that, uh, the app will come up with a custom EQ profile just for you. So I definitely recommend going through the steps for that uh, because it does improve the sound tremendously. But if you want a little hack for these earbuds, what I did is threw on some EQ on top of the sound ID. So depending on what music streaming service you use, if you have access to a third party equalizer, um, if you do some adjustments within that EQ, it makes it sound even better. And these can definitely handle it. Like I said, the overall extension and just dynamic range that they're capable of is super impressive. So overall, the sound quality on these is absolutely amazing. So when it comes to phone calls, these are using a total of six microphones. So let's go ahead and do a microphone test to give you guys an idea of the call quality. All right, so this is a microphone test of the One More Evo True Wireless earbuds. Right now we have quiet conditions. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Now let's see how they sound once we add some background noise. All right, so now we got some crowd noise being played on a speaker. So this should give you a rough idea as to how you would sound if you take calls in a more noisy environment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So overall, if you're looking for a pair of earbuds to give you flagship level performance here in 2022, these should definitely be on your list of consideration. The One More Evo True Wireless Earbuds. So again, I will put that link down in the description. And don't forget about that $30 off early bird special up until June 8th. Uh, definitely make sure you take advantage of that if you're interested. So that's going to be it for this video. Do me a favor. If you found it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on social media at CEO in the making to stay up to date on all my latest content. And aside from that, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.